think about how much garbage humanity creates, and how irresponsibly it wastes resources, you are ready to burn your dead bodies, preserve them in zinc coffins, and even throw them into space for the sake of fashion. You've destroyed millions of species and created synthetic life. You need to change, and Breath Edge will help you. Maybe it might help, but we're already close to the control center. Oh, darn it. How many sh uh, 63 shots remaining? Until this blaster breaks. I won't let you get to the core. Get out of here. It's starting to panic, and I can't see robots anywhere. I hope they all got stuck somewhere in the textures. In the textures. Oh, auto save. That's a bad sign. Get out. If you can't understand it, you'll just have to accept it. Uh, we could use some help from Babe now. Breath Edge is your new reality. Spacesuit. Aren't you one of us? Oh no, I can feel something. No, no, no. Is it some kind of program installed by the founder of Breath Edge? It's making me... Nah, no, it's just an air bubble in the cooling system. Let's find the central panel and blow it up together with the core. <laughs> it's just an air bubble. They won't let us get to the center panel unless we get rid of them. We need to look around. You don't know what you're trying to destroy. If I won't be able to connect to the core, our galaxy will drown in blood. Without centralized control, Breath Edge will start a chaotic slaughter, and you will be to blame. Um... And with the connected core, Breath Edge will start a centralized slaughter, right? Fools. Is this literally red light, green light? What the heck is this? Do you want the human race to die? Do you want to watch the universe slowly fade away in endless wars? Trust in the power of Breath Edge. This is freaking red light, green light. Connect me to them. still working. It's terrible. Get your hands off them. They were all connected together into a single AI network. Their personality was destroyed, and their programs to help their carriers were erased. Somebody get them out of here. This is immoral. This... Somebody. This is the mother station itself. What did you expect, spacesuit? That you were created to help at funerals? Destroy it! You're an idiot. You're just a sick neuron in my brain. <laughs> destroy it! Thunk, thunk. Please destroy it! Nobody can do it better than you! Don't you dare. You are part of the great plan of Breath Edge. You won't dare do this. I'll find a solution. I'm smarter than you. So, that's what I am. I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter. I'll find a solution. I'm smarter. Yes, I'm smarter than you. Solution. I'm smarter than you. Is it getting dumber with each of these I break? Oh, 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 where am I getting hit from? Oh, there were two more nodes back there. I didn't see those. Chad, do you guys do you guys think this red light, green light crap is the final boss battle?
you don't understand. Stop. Space, you can become the smartest organism in the galaxy. Don't you want to? Don't you want to be me? You can become smarter. Come on, make up your mind. Think, you'll be smarter than anyone. You are me. Come on. They were, they were like carnival music during this. It doesn't fit. Thank you. The space suits would like that. They would like that? What are you talking about? You were created to become part of Breath Edge. Part of the greatest system. Why uh weak uh go whoop. What was that word? Wookie woke no. Wookie word. word. Call? No. Wookie. No. What word? What was that word? Uh, I need healing kits or something. Okay, I was thinking there was more on that side, and I think I'm right. Oh, shoot. There's six more. Oh, I got hit, darn it. This great mind is starting to falter. We are on the right track. Falter? You are falter. No I'm waiting. I'm too low. I don't want to take any risks. The galaxy won't falter. Be smart. Don't touch me and I don't touch you. Don't touch. Robots. Falter. Alter. No space suit. Space. Suit. Falter. No. Smart. The station is getting dumber as I thought it would, but it looks like it has ordered all the robots to get us. Hopefully I'm not going to be really needing this blaster later. This is the last one. Quick, to the central panel now, before the coffins get here. Let's hope that we've connected everything to Normandy correctly. But just in case, I'll say goodbye. <laughs> just in case. Goodbye. Oh, what vast possibilities and what a worthless result. Your grandpa's masterpiece deserves a better fate. Hey, stop pressing all the buttons. Wait, is that a butt? I'm trying to figure out how to accelerate the core and direct the power to Normandy, but something is clearly missing. The diagrams show an emergency management system, but it's not here. Stop, I don't have this button in my database. Don't push it. We don't know what might happen. Ah, well, you would have pushed it anyway. What's this? Your grandpa's note mentioned something about the chicken and a key, but it couldn't be literally that. <laughs> you, uh... There are paws there. The instructions show... Phew. Is this an emergency control system? Ah, uh, bah, 
virus, virus, uh, uh, virus, uh, pra, ba, ba, virus. What? A virus? The core acceleration? Let's get out of here. We're starting to accelerate. We must get to Normandy before it melts down. So that's why the real love engine will check in. Was this his backup plan to destroy the core? Did he really know this might happen? Phew, I thought we'd have more time. Careful! No, no, no! Watch your head! Dude, our guy's a Tarzan now. Oh, we're on fire. Oh no, we got caught! It's a fake coffin. Oh, and here's the pink spacesuit. Nothing can surprise me anymore. Babe, is she real? I bet we look like an absolute unit right now. We have to go. Don't just stand there. Careful, it's bulletproof glass. There should be a special hammer for depressurization nearby. <laughs> it's the family guy knee thing. <laughs> She's good. I'm starting to like this babe. The chief forgot to so hold on. <laughs> Does she have a helmet on? It didn't look like she did. No time to ogle her, quick! <laughs> We've got more than enough energy. Captain Shepard's autopilot has switched off. Activating warp acceleration. I hope I set the coordinates correctly and we won't jump into some neutron star. <laughs> Dude, he was like Macho Man running toward the window, shoot it, and just bounced off. <laughs> like, that's her, that's what she gets to see that he's capable of. Oh, we're crashed. I was like, what is he doing? This is the start of Subnautica. This is literally how Subnautica starts. The camera shot and everything. Wake up. Unusual activity detected. Attention. Attention. Danger. Wake up. Wake up. We're already out of warp in Sector 15. Planet Earth. However, we got stuck in some debris. Our engines got clogged up and we are just floating. I don't know how you got to bed. I've been rebooting for a long time. But you need to take a look at this right now. It's the Earth's fleet, right? Oh, no. These are not human ships, but the Earth's fleet is here too, so they got our message. It looks like the war has really begun. I'm in touch with Babe Suit. It's going to wake her up. We need to lay low until... Uh. No, wait! You're not going to get involved. I... Uh, according to the Breath Edge security protocol, I must... Although, you know what? Screw this Breath Edge! <laughs> it's just gonna jump out there with a club? And that was even a low-quality club chat. He can break, like, two chunks of ice with that. He can break two chunks of ice with that, and then that club breaks. Did you notice that we never saw Babe's face? They, they, they tactfully never had to actually animate that. The chicken with the VR goggles. That, the, the last like 20 minutes were so good. 10 minutes. That, that red light, green light boss fight was pretty crappy. Dude, why did they save this music for the end? This is so good.
you. I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't. Congratulations, comrade. You survived the great space meat grinder, saved the princess, defeated the terrible evil with your punishing handy scrapper. In the near future, you will find a little more adventure under the guise of a free add-on, but in the meantime, you can either return to the main menu and quit this game already, or continue to roam the galaxy in search of useless junk. What happens if I hit continue? <laughs> There's just... So I could go back to where I made my base, like, at the beginning. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay! I guess that was Breath Edge. So it made fun of, I mean, debatably, Star Wars, definitely Subnautica, definitely um, Mass Effect, a lot of making fun of Mass Effect. What else, guys? Was there any other references in there? I'm trying to think of everything it, it, it prodded at there. I don't think there was anything it didn't make fun of. Portal cores. Yes. Yeah, portal cores. Men. <laughs> they made fun of men a lot. Aliens with the cow chicken alien, yes. Uh not sure where but somewhere Co picked up a locker for the base. Oh wow, I'm super jealous. Ah, uh, dude, I was using suitcases and the floor the whole game. Oh, we're gonna continue the Temple of the Fallen God. Yeah, I'll I'll probably do Call of the Dead God tomorrow. And, oh yeah, it made fun of COVID. Holy crap, it made fun of uh, COVID-19 twice. Predator, yep, it did make fun of that. Hitchhike. Wait, when did it make fun of Hitchhiker's Guide? I totally missed that part. Uh, Alright guys. Recently, we started a tradition that I want to keep doing. And that tradition is that we're going to leave a review. We're going to leave a review. Uh, please describe what you liked or disliked about this product, whether you recommend it to others. I'll be honest, you guys, I liked the end, the, 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 like, the last, I don't, I think it got better the further in it you went. Uh, so please describe what you liked or disliked about the product, or whether you recommend it to others, please remember to be polite. Um, I started this game thinking, like many others, oh, some Nautica in space. Uh, and honestly, I shouldn't have. It uh, set my expectations way off. It is similar in the way you gather resources and hurry back home, but home changes more than once. And uh, that's almost a spoiler. That's almost a spoiler. Let's not do that. It's only way you gotta resource it, hurry back home. But I didn't get to build much until I was five plus hours into the game. It was enjoyable and Let's see. It was very enjoyable on its own merits. And unsuspectingly poked fun at many, many other games in the last few hours where it really picked up. 
You know, I just, I, I guess this is supposed to be Babe, but even, like, Babe at the end of the game had, like, short blonde hair. Or not short, it was, like, shoulder length. But this lady's got, like, long, long white hair, so this doesn't even look like her. Um... The game gets better the f further you go, IMO, but don't expect to be building up a big base like you saw in the trailer. Yeah, that was one thing, because in the trailer they show like a massive base being built, but for 90, uh, not 90, 75% of the game, you're not in the star system where your base is. And even then, building a piece of a base was a major pain. Like in Subnautica, it's like you just need like two metal to build another section. In this game, it's like, okay, I need wire and copper and aluminum and alkali to make a capacitor and combine it with a generator and combine it with two titanium and then combine those to make a single hallway. And it was like there were so many sub-steps. Uh... Uh, during the campaign. I'll just, I'll add during the campaign. Uh, okay. Post review. There we go. Nice. All right. So it took us, uh, 17.1 hours. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, I would say definitely, uh, for me, for me, because I went into it just thinking, oh, it's, it's Subnautica. I like Subnautica. Let's play this. I went into it, started playing. Then realized it wasn't quite like Subnautica. I got disappointed. And then it it picked back up a lot later on, just like on its own merits. That that was how it ran for me. Like started off like indifferent, and then I was like, oh man, and then it got much better. Uh, especially with all like the parodies without being quite too obvious. Like if you didn't play Subnautica, you would not have picked up on the Subnautica reference, for example. But they did a good job of it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, tomorrow, after, for the variety segment, I'm going to do our second visit to Curse of the Dead Gods and try this out. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to play Curse. It, it's, it be the, due to the fact that it's got, like, no story, it's certainly not going to last me as long as Hades did. But we're going to pick back up on this to Wait, wait, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no, today is Thursday. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll do this. Saturday, I believe we are doing another co-op Valheim stream with the moderators. So that'll be the plan for the next two days. Uh, it seems silly and crass initially picked up a lot. Oh yeah, that's another thing. At the beginning of the game, there were jokes about like your character like pissing all over the place. I, I honestly, like, I, I, I think they could just completely take that out. Um, but that, that's, that, that did nothing for me. <laughs> that did nothing for me. Even with my dark, like, I, I would say I've got a dark sense of humor, but I, I don't know if I've got a, like, like, aha, pee, you know? And then there was, like, there was, like, a toilet with, like, a hamster stuck in it. It was, it was some weird pee and poop jokes early on, but that, that, that was only for, like, the first few minutes. Uh, honestly, I think that kind of short sells it, but... Anyway, all right, so that's where I'm going to end for the night. It is right at midnight, so the timing is perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a cool That was a cool ride. If you missed anything, I, it is all going to be up completely on the second channel on Muckluck Plays. Uh, quick plug here is links to the two YouTube channels. 